Hello there, and welcome to Pets Aplenty. Today on the channel, you'll learn about the Russian Toy, a petite, graceful, and energetic breed that is intelligent, warm, and sociable. We've gathered all this information to help you make an informed decision if you find yourself drawn to this beautiful dog. Before we continue, though, we would love for you to become a member of the channel by clicking on the Join button down below. You can also review the perks of Pets Aplenty membership after clicking the Join button. Now, let's get into the video. The Breed History like the English Toy Terrier, the Russian Toy has its roots in Russia. The Russian nobles of the 18th century popularized this species as a companion animal. However, importing English Toy Terriers was quite popular in the era. The breed was initially developed to serve as a guard dog, which explains why dogs of this type are so suspicious of strangers and make such a racket. The breed was known as the Russian Rusky Toy Terrier before the turn of the century. These canines were popular among the upper class and were often seen at parties and other social gatherings. Due to the rise of communism and the breed's historical ties to affluence, this breed was nearly exterminated in the 1920s. The breed was near extinction in the 1990s because of competition from other breeds being imported at the time. The country of origin was where you could almost always find this breed during that period. Following Stalin's death, efforts were made in several parts of the Soviet Union to revive the Russian Toy Terrier. In contrast to the English Toy Terrier, the new breed developed into a short and long coat variant. The breed was accepted into the Fédération Kinologique Internationale in 2006 and the word terrier was dropped from its name. Appearance the petite, graceful, and energetic Russian toy has long legs, exquisite bones, and thin muscles. As one of the tiniest breeds in the world, the Russian toy is distinguished by its triangular ears and huge, expressive eyes. The untrained eye may confuse them for chihuahuas or papillons because of their superficial similarities. While petite, they make up for it with their jovial disposition. Russian toys may have either short, smooth, close-lying, and lustrous or lengthy coats, soft and wavy to curly. It may also be red, red sable, red brown, red or black and tan. Other potential coats and markings include small white spots and brindle, which is not permitted by the breed standard. The long-haired variety has distinctive feathering on the limbs, tail, and ears and a stylish ruff on the chest. Long-coated Russian toys don't reach adulthood until they're at least a year old and they don't get full fringing until they're at least three. A smooth coating makes this variety look and feel sophisticated. Temperament the Russian Toy is a people-oriented breed that creates strong ties with its human companions because of its high intelligence, warmth, and sociability. The two varieties differ slightly in temperament. Compared to long coats, smooth coats tend to be a little more terrier-like, but they both have a larger-than-life presence. Although they might be reserved around strangers, this breed adores its human family and thrives on cuddling. Due to its history of rat fighting, the Russian Toy isn't the best choice for a home with rodents or other small animals. It should be kept under close supervision in such a setting. However, they have an excellent temperament with kids and generally get along well with other pets, including dogs and cats. They are neither a coward nor a bully. Companionship from humans is essential for their well-being and they'll make their feelings known if they're ignored. They are jovial and enjoy playing and running around. They'll race around the house or yard after their toys if you can keep up. Socialization Russian toys are lively and upbeat canines who are intelligent and eager to please. These mellow pups get along well with everyone, from toddlers to the elderly. However, to ensure the safety of all household members, dogs should be gradually introduced to children and other pets. Remarkably, they adore children and make excellent playmates for them. If you have young children, please exercise extreme caution around this tiny, fragile dog. Kids could accidentally hurt the dog if they play without supervision. Early socialization is essential to producing a well-adjusted, well-rounded dog. Once you bring your Russian toy home, it's time to introduce him to the rest of the family and neighborhood. Keeping your dog from developing timidity or hostility is possible with systematic socialization. Your dog won't be shy or aggressive toward other canines if you take the time to socialize it properly. Your Russian toy will learn to behave appropriately in various settings if you introduce him to many different dogs, people, sites, and sounds. Most importantly, this breed requires constant human company and suffers greatly from separation anxiety if abandoned. Grooming 
This easy care breed requires minimal time and effort to maintain its appearance. Brushing your long-haired Russian toy twice a week and giving him a bath once a month will keep him looking great. The short-haired variety of the breed requires little in the way of maintenance other than the occasional brushing and bathing. The long-haired type requires more attention to its coat. To avoid the buildup of dead hair and dry skin, it's best to brush the coat with a soft brush once a week. Shine may also be restored to the coat with a daily wipe down. Clipping a dog's nails is another essential grooming task that requires regular attention. This is primarily true for dogs who are rarely taken for walks on a hard surface. Exercise the Russian toy has a reputation for being a high-energy toy. It was initially developed for the sole purpose of hunting and fighting rats. Thus, modern Russian toys are likelier to enjoy interactive games, puzzle toys, and chasing games. The Russian toy will be an excellent addition to your family if you have the time and energy to devote to your dog's health and happiness. This little but high-energy breed requires frequent exercise because of its propensity to boredom. A regular yard or long run should be adequate for their workout needs. They like long walks with their owners and will happily run and play until they crash into your lap for an extended cuddle session. On walks, a harness is preferable over a collar. Your Russian should not be restrained with the collar or harness when at home. A collar or harness poses the risk of injury to your little rascal if it gets trapped on furniture or other household items. They have a stellar reputation for being very receptive to instruction and eager to please. Parents of this breed may wear to introduce them to activities like agility training to stimulate their canine's minds and bodies. Training Russian toys are highly trainable because they are friendly and eager to please, but they're still terriers at their core so they can be headstrong and dominant. Regular obedience training is essential for this toy breed to avoid developing small dog syndrome, or else your Russian toy might be prone to incessant barking, nipping at strangers, and testing your authority. Puppy kindergarten classes and advanced obedience training are available from many sources, including all breed kennel clubs, community centers, and veteran areas. Their outgoing, friendly nature, and clownish antics make them perfect for agility and trick dog competitions. Early socialization is highly recommended by the AKC Parent Club for the breed. This is because a well-socialized Russian toy will have an easier time adjusting to life with other dogs and will learn proper manners much faster. Many owners of Russian toy dogs praise the breed for being very trainable. However, those with the little dog should be careful to keep their weight in training goodies due to its demand diminutive size. Diet and Nutrition the Russian toy needs a diet similar to that of medium to high energy small dogs. Both commercially produced and homemade under the guidance of your veterinarian, high quality dog foods should be okay for the Russian toy. It should be a premium, life stage suited food. Clean, fresh water should always be available for your dog. Remember that your dog may be one of the many breeds that quickly gain weight, so keep an eye on his or her calorie intake and overall body mass. You should check how much your Russian toy consumes and lessen quantities if they develop extra weight. Keep in mind that providing excessive goodies might promote weight gain. Study what human foods may be fed to dogs and what should be avoided. Because all dogs are unique in their diet needs, you should visit your veterinarian to identify the best food to give your pet. Health like many toy breeds, the Russian toy is generally healthy except for its teeth. The new owners of a Russian toy should be aware of a few health issues that are pretty common among the breed. Impacted baby teeth are the most common health problem in this species. Veterinarian extraction of puppy teeth is usually necessary by the time they're nine months old. Tartar buildup on the teeth, also known as periodontal disease, can start as early as one year of age. Plaque can be reduced, and dental cleaning or tooth extraction can be avoided with regular dental care, such as brushing your dog's teeth. Progressive retinal atrophy and patellar luxation are just two of the many genetic defects checked for by responsible breeders, and owners should be aware of the possibility of eye injuries like ulcers. Have you experienced any of these illnesses in your dog? Let us know in the comments section. Consider becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button to get early access to our upcoming videos plus other membership perks. Also, check out our playlists and click on the video links that pop up at the end of this video. Thank you for watching.